Northrop Aviation and the British Royal Air Force worked together to build the P-61 Black Widow, the first night fighter in U.S. service, in 1940. It was the first aircraft to deploy radar, and on the final night of World War II, it was involved in the final verified air-to-air -air kill. During World War II, the U.S. Army Corps and British Royal Air Force used antiquated aircraft, while modern advances like the Gloucester Meteor and the Bell P-59 Era Comet pushed allies to outpace each other in technology. Night fighters, or weather interceptors, were created to cope with low visibility conditions during World War I. Founded in 1939, Northrop Aircraft Corporation, a California-based company, was given contracts to create the world's first knife fighter due to its ability to circle guarded zones slowly, intercept attackers at high speeds, and carry enough ammunition to bring down large bombers. In November 1940, work on the P-61 Black Widow project began, aiming to be a sleek, enigmatic aircraft with a 50-foot and 66-foot wingspan equipped with radar and airborne intercept capabilities and a strong combatant at night. The P-61 was a twin-boom aircraft with a radar engineer and gunner who managed a small inbuilt airborne interceptor. The interceptor reduced ground echoes and increased precision by sweeping the sky with a knife-like beam using a spinning 30-inch scanner receiver dish antenna. The Black Widow's aircraft had four 20-millimeter Hispano M2 cannons and four 50 caliber Browning machine guns, which could be remotely controlled. The aircraft had a maximum speed of 366 miles per hour and was propelled by two Pratt & Whitney 2800 double WASP radial engines, each with 2,000 horsepower. Despite its 360-degree rotation and 90-degree coverage, the P-61 often struggled with accurate aiming. The P-61 was a stealthy aircraft with retractable flaps, tricycle landing gear, and an internal fuel capacity of 646 gallons. It weighed over 29,000 pounds in combat and had a glossy black coating on its metal armor. However, anti-aircraft searchlights failed to locate it in 80% of flights. The P-61 was painted deep black starting in February 1944, making it a stealthy aircraft. A key aircraft of World War II, the P-61 made its premiere in January 1944 with a stunning midnight flypast over the Los Angeles Coliseum. The 422nd Night Fighter Unit was the first unit in Europe to fly the Black Widow on May 23, 1944. One month later, the 425th Squadron got theirs, but by then both were too late to take part in the D-Day assault on June 6. Targeting the dreaded German Fe-1 buzz bomb in the Mediterranean was the Black Widow's maiden mission. After receiving its P-61, 414 Squadron participated in the Battle of the Bulge alongside the Foreign 22nd Squadron. When Daisy May Black Widow, piloted by Lieutenant Van New Winder, came upon a twin-engine Messerschmitt 410 in 1944, it became clear that the P-61 was becoming outdated. Winder made an effort to engage and pursue the adversary, but the ME-410 outran the P-61 at 400 miles per hour, making Winder appear sluggish. There was a lack of replacement parts for the 422nd and 425th squadrons, and Northrop was having trouble meeting demand. The squadron used whatever equipment they had on hand to deal with the majority of operational P-61s that were shipped to the Pacific. Guadalcanal was secured in late 1942, but the American stronghold needed nighttime defense against Japanese attacks. The Black Widows weren't ready yet, so the Americans temporarily adapted B-25s, P-40s, P-38, and P-70s as night fighters. Finally, in May 1944, Black Widows were ready to fly in the Pacific. The first to receive a P-61 was the 6th Night Fighter Squadron, the 421st Squadron was established on July 1, 1944, and it was based out of Wake Island and Natsab, New Guinea. Though there was not much actual action by the P-61 at Red O's Island, 
Lieutenant Byron Elaine managed to intercept a Japanese twin-engine bomber. During World War II, the Fora 18 Squadron operated the Black Widow, a light-action P-61 aircraft, in the Halmahera and Dutch East Indies. The P-61's significance in the final six months of the war was little, despite its inventive design, since the Axis powers were already too weak to combat on the ground or in the air. The squadron carried out 18 successful strikes. The most successful operation involved destroying three Kawasaki Ki-61s in one night. The most well-known Black Widow in the world is Captain Lee Kendall's P-61 Lady in the Dark. The aircraft attacked kamikaze operations to bring down two Japanese Imperial Army aircraft was responsible for the last two aerial killings of World War II. Captain Kendall followed the aircraft hard, to the point where they crashed on their own. It seems fitting that on two of its most significant missions, the P-61 failed to achieve a hit. Arriving late in the Second World War, the P-61 was already out of date in Europe. To address these problems, Northrop engineers added turbocharges, enhanced the remote control turret, and redesigned the aerial intercept radar. Still, the airplane was moving too slowly. The Black Widow was consigned to the reserves as a training aircraft after the British Mosquito MK-17 proven to be more effective in engagements across Europe. The Black Widow, which arrived late, participated in battle in all war theaters and destroyed 18 German V-1 buzz bombs and 127 enemy aircraft. Following the conflict, the Army Air Force, Navy, Weather Bureau, and NASA conducted a collaborative research using the Black Widow to investigate thunderstorms and mitigate the risk to military and civilian aircraft. The Black Widow's existence was momentarily prolonged by the project and other utility tasks, but it was formally decommissioned in 1954. To watch more videos on American bombers, click the link on the left. To watch more than two dozen videos on German aircrafts, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.